What is going on, um, Feral community? It is Blue. We are back with another video. This one has been a request um, uh, from the Feral Discord, and um, honestly, it's my bad for never covering this. Um, but basically, the crust is like, "Hey, Blue, what do you do during Berserk, right?" Um, and you know, do we proc blood talons? Do we bite spam? Um, and honestly, this is something that I should have covered and I should have looked more in detail. Um, but there's just some things that moving from Shadowlands to Dragonflight that shouldn't exist. <laughs> but they just sneak by and they're just like, oh, I'm not even thinking about it. I'm just bite spamming. And then it's like, well, like, do we f refresh Blood Towns or not? And I'm like, oh, crap, that's actually something I should think about. And this is what I tell you guys. Like, I do not play proper Feral Druid. You know, I don't mind, like, trying to figure things out, but it doesn't mean I do it, right? <clears throat> And I don't even think about it sometimes, right? Um, but anyways, I was like, damn, that is a really good question. Let's figure it out. Um, so I went over to the dummies, and I was testing a lot of dummies. It took me a long time because we got to make for Berserk to come off cooldown. So you go over here, and you get it to cool off faster. Um, but basically, this is going to be for M+. Plus, okay? For single target, you guys, I, 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 I hate to leave you guys hanging, um, but single target Feral is going to be um, very difficult. Um but then also how this this rotation is going to differ from single target feral because we're taking tiger's tenacity and i had no idea prior but tiger's tenacity is going to determine your rotation you know and and i for whatever reason i didn't even think about this until i stumbled upon it and i was like oh my gosh this this one talent determines your rotation during berserk so it's it's actually really cool um, so basically how I, how I came about this is I'm just like, you know, thinking like, well, uh, you know, how do I best use Berserk, right? You know, what, what's the best use I can get out of Berserk? Obviously, we want to like go through rotation really quickly, um, you know, so that we can make use out of those two extra combo points during Berserk. Um, I also do want to use a ton of really important abilities, combo point abilities, because like those are going to be getting added effect from Feral or from Berserk Frenzy. Um, and basically the answer to that is like, well, just make sure you Convoke within Berserk because um, Convoke is going to spit out some of those abilities and whatnot. Um, and then, you know, like, well, when do I Tiger's Fury? And, and that was a question. How do I best make use out of Tiger's Fury? And then that question, of course, you know, you have to relate it to Tiger's Tenacity. And it's like, well, Tiger's Fury causes your next three finishing moves to restore one combo point. So what is the best scenario for me to do and use this effect? And basically the answer to this is, well, whenever you have Tiger's Tenacity, you're going to get three combo points, which is going to give you the ability to shred and, full, and get full combo points, no matter if shred crits or not. Right. Usually, in, in um, prior expansions, we were very um, reliant on shred critting because tigers or a berserk gave us two free combo points, and now I needed three. So I was very reliant, reliant. Sorry, I can't talk on shred critting so that I can one shred bite, one shred bite, one shred bite. Tiger tenacity doesn't need that. I don't need it to crit anymore, which is really, really amazing. Um, so basically, how do I best use this effect? The answer is don't convoke during it. <laughs> don't convoke during Tiger's Nasty effect because you're basically wasting that one extra combo point. You're basically wasting that ability to shred and not need it to crit. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but it's really interesting. So basically, I also made this in a write up. Let's see, we're right here. Um, I will share this again in this video, but it's out there. Find it on my Feral Discord. But basically, here are kind of like the thoughts that I was, I was putting you guys through. You know, like, hey, how do I make best use out of things? How do I make best use out of these? Um, and basically, that's going to get us to our rotation. Okay, so here's the rotation. Hopefully, this is an easy way of explaining it. I had to, like, think of what is the best way to explain it so that you understand. And I think this is the best way. So basically, Feral Druid, Berserk, it, with the use of this talent, which is basically an M plus talent, is going to be one setup. It's going to be one, your setup phase, okay? How this is going to look is we're going to Stealth Rake. Now, the question is like, well, do I 
use that rake as a berserked effect? And um, the answer I came to is, well, this rake is already doing berserk damage because it's stealthed. So I don't really need berserk to increase its damage. Um, it would be nice, though, to get that rake to be under the effect of frenzy. But I decided not to do that because um, after rake, I'm going to thrash. And, and it's kind of really nitpicky. I mean, we're trying to make the best value out of every single spell. And I don't want to ever thrash during Berserk because like that's the least optimal spell that I can do to, to benefit from that Frenzy effect. Okay, so that's kind of why I decided not to um, Berserk during that initial Rake. Okay, so anyways, um, Rake, Thrash, now we Shred, right? But I do want this Shred to be enhanced by Berserk, so I'm going to Berserk Shred. Now I'm Berserking. And hopefully that will be either this, so this shred is either going to get us to four combo points or five combo points. If you're, if you're super lucky and awesome, then that's great. If it only gets you to four, shred again. At this point, um, we are going to Tiger's Fury to get us to the highest energy possible, and we're going to rip. One, we want to be the highest energy possible because we're going to start spamming bites, which is basically the, the best use out of Tiger's tenacity. Um, <clears throat> and, but also, like, we need the energy to get through that rotation, okay? So we Tiger's Fury now, we rip, and now we shred, bite, shred, bite, shred, bite three times. And um, you don't have to, to you don't have to worry too much about like hey do I need to count to three or not? Um, one thing is you can watch your combo points. You know once you start going from three combo points to two combo points, you know you're done. But basically how it works is that third bite you're going to be starved. It, you're just going to be starved. You know and you're going to have to wait for it to go up. And another indicator is your bleeds are about to fall off. Okay. So, and it works, it works perfectly because your bleeds are about to fall off right when your third bite cuts in. And at that point, you're suffering, you're struggling to bite. Okay, I bit. My bleeds are about to fall off. What do we do now? Well, I convoke. I want to convoke during Berserk. Um, I don't want to really overlap with this Tiger Snacity. So now that's when convoke comes in. Hopefully, convoke will refresh your bleeds. You'll get a whole bunch of bites spammed. It's going to probably proc some blood talons. Convoke is just so RNG, and it's really difficult doing testing um, because it's like, oh shit, this is the this is the build, and you know, it's like sometimes my damage is like way up there. Sometimes it's not so up there, and it's just it's just because of convoke, right? Um, so that sucks. Now, also because of how RNG convoke is, after convoke, you have a few seconds of berserk. I can't tell you what to do, right? Because of convoke, because convoke is so RNG, maybe it didn't refresh a blood or a, a bleed. So maybe you decide you want to refresh that bleed and then just wing it and go for uh, for for a BT proc, or maybe you already have a BT proc, or maybe you have an apex proc that you're getting ready to use. I can't tell you at this point. It, you know, these last like three or four or five seconds of berserk, that's you. You, you that's when you, you know you do your solo thing and you wing it, right? Um, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, ooh, do I want to use everything? I guess so. We can just use everything and just try to like, you know, I'm not going to use potions because too many buttons are probably going to mess me up. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and do everything. Um, using zero brain power. Um, let's go at it again. This, this. I got this. Convoke. My energy was bomb diggity on that one. I bet you it's because I popped uh, Berserking. Now it's winging it. I'm winging it like a pro. Okay, and we're done. Yay, I did it. Whew. Oh, cherry on top right there. Okay, so what are we looking at? This is our damage. Look how well our Berserking did. This is really great use of Berserking. Obviously, this is RNG. Um, another thing that I will say is I am on beta. I don't know if I said this already. Haste is really, really important. Um, so if you do have Berserking, use that at the beginning um, you know, to try and get you through that three bite phase, which is going to which you're going to be struggling with with um, your energy regen. 
Um, but that's it. Thank you so much. Um, I will hopefully edit this to make it look like I did right the first time. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>